wedding, which is three hours away, and we're really hoping we get there in time um, for dinner and before the bar closes. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's kind of a crazy weekend because we're going to be out of town tonight because of the wedding, and um, it's just hard being away from home overnight and planning ahead, and especially with my health, just making sure that I still feel good, and as you can see, I have a fever right now because I'm dealing with some inflammation from my car accident and stuff, so um, it's good to plan ahead, and we just want to give you a couple little tips to make your road trips and your time away from home a little easier. So first of all, talk to each other ahead of time so you know your game plan, know when you're going to be leaving the house. And make sure you agree on what time you need to leave and whether that's a hard and fast time or whether there's a little bit of leeway there. Um, and make sure you know who's responsible for what. So like today I packed snacks, Kyle grabbed the air mattress, neither of us talked about who was going to grab pillows or anything to put on the air mattress. So pray for us tonight as we're sleeping on a completely naked air mattress at our cousin's house. Well, we won't be naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then when you're in the car, make sure that you have plenty of hydration. We always have a water bottle for each of us. Um, and then like I said, we pack snacks and that helps us save money. It minimizes the amount of stops that we need to take and helps you eat healthier, of course. And one little tip that I have if you're like me and you just eat anything that happens to be within reach is keep all your snacks in the trunk so you can only grab them when you have to stop. Um, what else? Feel free to grab like totes and laundry baskets and stuff like that um, to corral all your stuff in the car. We have this giant tote. Do you see that? Like biggest tote in the whole world. Thank you and Susie. And then we have a laundry basket that has like the wedding gifts and camera and just other random stuff that we probably won't need to take into Kyle's cousin's house where we're staying. But um, just so it's all in one place makes it easier to pack and unpack. Um, and then take advantage of your time in the car. So yeah, I could just sit and read a book and I'm a bookworm and a nerd and I like to do that. But we bring our Bible in the car so I can read our devotions to Kyle. Sometimes we listen to um, video messages for like Tim and Grace or Andy Stanley, some of our favorite pastors that we like to watch. Um, probably tomorrow on our way home we'll kind of look at our calendar for the upcoming week and just chat and figure out what's going on next week, what are we planning for meals. It's good to make time to do that every week anyway, but if you're going to be in the car, why not take advantage of that time? Um, what else? Oh, one thing I wanted to say is just, you know, especially if you're driving, feel free to grab things and just throw them in the car if you have room for them even if you're not sure if you're gonna need them if it'll make your trip more comfortable so like for me whenever we drive somewhere I just always take my own pillow because I sleep so much better on it it's this weird water pillow it's very like 90s um, remember water beds um, so I take my pillow because it helps me sleep better and sometimes I'll throw in you know running shoes in the trunk even if I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to go for a run but doesn't hurt if I have the space. You never know when you might use them. So, any other things you can think of, Kyle? He's just in boss mode trying to get us there by six o'clock. Alright, so there's a few simplicity tips from us, the Kurs. Have a good next road trip. Been a great week. Bye. Bye.